Good evening, everybody. You know, sometimes police officers are called upon to restrain activities of which they personally approve. At such times, stern duty must be our master. Because above all, the police must obey orders. Even if some orders, as we shall see, are like the instructions for the timer of an eight-day video recorder. <laughs> Extremely difficult to follow. <laughs> I'm off then. I said I'm off then. I said I'm off then. Patricia, you are demeaning the good name of Gasforth Police Force. I don't give a donkey's doodah for the Gasforth Police Force. You do give a donkey's doodah. I don't give a donkey's doodah, and I'm going. Patricia, I forbid you to go. Please, Raymond, don't forbid me. I'm a bit late and I just haven't got time to roll around on the floor laughing till I'm physically sick. But you are a policewoman. No, I'm not. I'm an anarchist. For the next two weeks, I am a crazy, wild-eyed child of the forest. I am dedicating my life... Your holiday. <laughs> my holiday? To the travelling road protesters known as the Dongas. And my name is not Patricia... It's Squirrel. <laughs> squirrel Baggins. No heavens and Horlicks, Patricia. Gasforth needs a bypass. And you won't stop it by frolicking about in the woods, calling yourself Troll or Gonk or Nutkin the sweet little tree-dwelling imp. <laughs> well, I have to try. We do not inherit the earth from our parents. We borrow it from our children. But we don't have any children. <laughs> Yes, I am aware of that. But the fact that you are a one bonk a year man <laughs> does not relieve me of my responsibility to preserve the environment for future generations. You've changed since you became a donga. <laughs> I feel I hardly know you. Squirrel. Now, if you'll excuse me, I shall return to my newspaper. Now, as I'm sure you're all aware, the whole town is agog with talk of this new bypass. From road rage to road protest, anything to do with cars seems to provoke people's passions in a quite extraordinary manner. I'll find him, I swear I'll find him. I've seen some criminal swine in my years as a copper. I have witnessed some vile and horrendous deeds, but this... This has left me sad and sickened. Good heavens, Inspector Grimm, what on earth could have happened? Some maniac has dinged my car. <laughs> Not the Nissan Micro with the go-faster Kleenexes on the back shelf. <laughs> yes, yes. I think he's scratched the paint. I can't tell till I get a magnifying glass out and have a proper look. <laughs> but we were both pulling up at the lights and the vile dis pickable criminal scraped along my side. Well, perhaps you were in his lane. <laughs> perhaps you scraped him. What did you say? <laughs> well, I, I was just... am a superb driver. <laughs> were you changing lanes? Yes, and I indicated. Nonetheless, you were changing lanes while approaching a traffic light. I have just told you I am a superb driver. Did you get his number? Well, how could I? I was retuning the radio when it happened. <laughs> I'll tell you, though, if I hadn't had a cup of coffee in the other hand, I'd have given chase. <laughs> hey, here's a thought, sir. The security camera's all over town. Perhaps your dinger's been caught on video. Well done, Boyle. Requisition all tapes county-wide. This insane maniac must be stopped before he can scratch again. So, as I was saying, roads and cars are areas where passions run deep. And there can be no deeper passions than amongst the environmentalists of the Donga tribe. Sergeant Dawkins has joined them for her holiday, hasn't she? 
I think it's great. Yes, me too. <laughs> Wonder if she's had her nipples pierced yet. <laughs> Be quiet, Goody. It's not compulsory, is it? Oh, no, no. Okay. It's just that when they're cavorting naked in a haze of marijuana, it gives them somewhere to hang their keys. <laughs> yes, well, nipples aside. No, I mean, um. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, um. Well, I don't know what I mean, actually. Um, where were we? Preparing to police the destruction of the planet, sir. Ah, yeah. Really, Constable. I do tire of this leftist hectoring. Have you read the police code of common purpose recently? Of course, sir. Every day. Can't put it down. Then you'll be aware that it says that our job is to enforce the law. Not to enforce the law if we happen to think it's a nice one. <laughs> These environmentalists may have admirable intentions, but being decent and fair and honest doesn't necessarily make a person right, Habib. But if it did, Rolf Harris would be Prime Minister. <laughs> Now, in order to prepare ourselves for the tactics of these dongas, I intend to employ a role-playing technique. We will create a scenario and act out the parts. <gasps> Acting? How exciting! <laughs> Does that mean I can call you darling? <laughs> Only if you wish to spend the rest of your career putting out traffic cones on the M25, laddie. <laughs> now then, since you seem so eager to act, Goody, we are going to role-play a protester tied to a tree. Goody, you take that part. Oh, thank you, sir. I am brilliant at acting. <laughs> what are you doing, Goody? I'm doing what you told me, sir. I'm being the tree. I meant to be the protester. Besides which, you don't look a bit like a tree. I thought you said you could act. You look like a plank. Where's your willowy bendiness? I want to be able to picture your gnarled old trunk. I bet you I can do an impression of a plum tree, sir, but it means taking my trousers off. No, no glasses, thank you. I will be the tree. I will be the tree. Now, I've just got to get my focus. Um... Are you doing it now, sir? Yes, of course I'm doing it now, Habib. You look like a moose. Well, I feel like a tree. Well, it's very interesting, sir. Well, thank you, Habib. A talking tree. You don't get many of them. Cleverness is unattractive in a police officer, Habib. I've got an idea, sir. Why don't you hold my apple? My mum gives me one every day, but I never eat it because I prefer sweets. Well, thank you. I can think it'll work. Oh! about stuffing my pot plant in your jacket, sir. Uh, good. Give you a bit of foliage. Well, yes. Perhaps. Thank you, Blas. I was Accrington Brownie's origami champion, sir. Look! A swallow. Ah, good. Excellent. Excellent. There you go. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> Role-playing is the key to modern training, and props are important. So, I am now a totally convincing tree. Totally, sir. If I was a dog, I'd lift my leg. Yes, thank you, Habib, thank you. 